The Accutron uses electrostatic generation to power the device. While wearing the timepiece, electrostatic induction generators found at 5 and 7 o'clock convert everyday movement into energy that powers the device. The electrostatic induction turbine motor at 10 o'clock is used to power the second hand and will move synchronously. To conserve energy, the timepiece has two functions to minimize power consumption. Power save function where only the second hand stops and energy conserving function where all of the hands stop. While active, the timepiece holds a plus or minus 5 second per month accuracy. Wearing your timepiece together with the natural motion of your arm while walking will continually charge the device. Place and wear the timepiece around your wrist, making sure it is positioned on the top part as shown. Raise your arm to the side of your body as shown and swing your arm fully up and down. Swing should be done back and forth in a long chopping motion at about once a second. Swinging too fast or too slow or while the timepiece is facing the wrong direction can create inefficient power generation. One hour of walking with a device in this manner will generate energy equivalent to approximately one day of running time. The second hand will stop while in either power save mode. To continue normal functions, perform the swinging motion described in the generating power section for 3 to 5 seconds or until the second hand restarts movement. Doing so will cause the second hand to slowly move to the correct time position before returning to normal timekeeping. To adjust the time, first make sure the second hand is moving. If it is not, refer to the power generating section. When the second hand points to 12 o'clock, pull the crown out. All hands will stop. Turn the crown to set the correct time. After setting the time, push the crown back in so that it is flush against the case. All hands will begin to move and keep time. You have now completed changing the time. To ensure power conservation, the second hand will automatically stop at 12 o'clock after 5 minutes of insufficient power generation. The power saving function is necessary to ensure the watch's power supply lasts for the optimal extended period of time. Please avoid cancelling this function with the exception of needing to monitor the motion of the second hand or motor turbine. The timepiece will continue to keep time while under the power save function. Even when the second hand stops at 12 o'clock during the power saving function, the electrostatic induction generators will continue to convert energy from small movements into power. To restart the second hand, move the timepiece as described in the Canceling Power Save Mode section. To further conserve energy, the timepiece can enter a state where all hands become inactive. The energy conserving function mode can activate by either of the following two conditions. If after 10 days since power save function was activated, or if your timepiece will not be worn, it may be best to place it in the energy conserving function mode manually. To do this, pull the crown out. This may take up to one hour before entering conservation mode. In either case, the timepiece will not hold time in this mode. When returning to normal operations, a restart and setting of the time will be needed. To restart the hands, make sure the crown is pressed in and flush against the case. Then move the timepiece as described in the Cancelling Power Save Mode section. The second hand may stop in different locations to notify of specific conditions. If the second hand is to stop at the 12 o'clock location, 
This may indicate the timepiece is in the power save function. If the second hand is at this position and the other hands have stopped, this may indicate the timepiece is in the energy conserving function. If the second hand stops at 4 o'clock, this may indicate that the timepiece is in the stop warning indication. The internal power reserve may be depleted. If the second hand stops at any other position, this may be due to shock or other issues. In all cases, first make sure the crown is pushed in and attempt to restart by moving the timepiece as described in the Cancelling Power Save Mode section. Under no circumstances is the timepiece to be opened. Doing so may cause internal damage and void the warranty. If the second hand still does not move after the previous steps are attempted, please consult an authorized service center.